welcome to our thrilling expedition to Mount Phan Siban, the crown jewel of Vietnam's majestic landscapes. Join us to see the world as we venture into the heart of this awe-inspiring peak, uncovering its secrets and immersing ourselves in its captivating beauty on Asia's highest point. us to see the world. In the last two episodes, Bima and Rizzo ventured to the concrete jungles of Vietnam, witnessing one of the emerging economic giants in Southeast Asia. They are all about achieving something special as they reach Ho Chi Minh City's highest concrete point. Finally, we are in the highest point of Ho Chi Minh City. City. Yes. And also Hanoi's highest point, capturing every moment with every video equipment that they have, including their smartphones. So we still cannot f see the fancy pans because the fog is still covering the, the top. And uh, we get lucky because the weather today is not too... Uh, well, it's dark sometimes, but the sun still shines. This is our dinner for tonight and a lot of menus that prepared by our guide here in Camp 2. Yeah, pasta, fried egg, fish, fish with uh, tomato sauce, stirred cabbage, a lot of chicken and my favorite tofu thing with tomato uh, sauce. So let's eat. Let's go back to Hanoi, shall we? We must see whether the guys are all in good shape to do this. One fine day in Hanoi. In the new central business district, a four-star hotel is ready to welcome them. This 196 rooms and suits hotel is a great place for R&R &R to prepare them for the hard adventures ahead. Or should we expect differently? Just in time for packing. This hotel, or should we say shelter, a luxurious one, may play a crucial part in every outdoor activity. A shelter can protect you from any hazards and give you comfort to rest or gain information on your surroundings of your expedition or about site management. Asian Hotel and Residences Hanoi provides perfect facilities to keep them in shape. In the fitness center, Rizal is trying his best to run with a state-of-the-art treadmill. Meanwhile, Bima chooses to dip himself into the saltwater swimming pool, perfect to rejuvenate and relax the muscles. For breakfast, Bima is eating croissant with cappuccino, a standard way to start your day for a French breakfast. While Rizal takes a green away to start the day. 
Well, as we all can see, that they are in good hands. Let's move forward and see how they start their expedition. Here we are in the uh, 944 Kim, trying to get to our bus, a six hours ride to Sapa. Yeah, ready to go to Sapa. That's right. And we will arrive tomorrow morning around 5 or 6 p.m. Yes. Do you have any luggage? No? I think so, yeah. yeah. Put it down. Okay, luggage is secured and we go up. No, still waiting for the other guests. Yes. And this is our. Hey! Agent, very helpful, friend. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Everything's done at night. Ah, yeah. Bima and Rizal are trying to find themselves a cozy sleeping spot inside the bus. We can sit wherever we want, and uh, luckily we have the you know the widest one because we are early. on the back and yeah in early you also. Get that? so yeah it's six to eight hours to stop and then maybe we can get comfy here yes you think? <laughs> that's right so here's the uh, inside of the sleeper uh, we have i guess uh, more than 30 a bed like this with two stories and as the bus rolls its tires to Safa, Bima and Rizal are off to sleep. Welcome to the enchanting city of Sapa, nestled in the lush green mountains of northern Vietnam. This is where all the steps toward Fansipan begins and where the enchanting culture of this remote place shines and lures tourists from around the world. Here we are, we'll get ready to go to the first spot to hike from Indigo Air to Sasapa. Ready? Sure. Ready? Yeah. Without cable car. <laughs> the bus ride takes roughly 45 minutes to reach the National Park Ranger Station, or widely known as the gateway for Trampton Pass Track. We pray for our health and safety. Pray, please. <laughs> Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> Standing proudly in the heart of Vietnam's Huang Linh Son mountain range, Mount Phan Sipan stands as the tallest peak in Indochina, an emblem of nature's grandeur. Their guide, Mr. So, amazed them with his knowledge about this forest where his people, the Black Monk, roam and live this mountain. <laughs> Mr. Su just found a, a forest fruit. Uh, the outside is like a plump, but, it, but in, inside this is like a peanut, right? So this is the actual fruit before we skin it, and this is the tree. And uh, you know, a bit intimidating before we skin it. You know, just the outside of the fruit itself, just like this. Are you dare to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Climbing a mountain, crossing the river. <laughs> 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 
Gracias. Every preparation only takes you halfway. But in reality, it may be different in each situation. And you, sir? Sir, sir. Let's go. Yeah, let me sleep. Don't disturb. Are you sleeping? Yes, just give me five minutes, please. I'm sleeping. Sleeping beauty. Are you sleeping? <laughs> sleeping. Are you sleeping? Yes. <laughs> At an impressive height of 3,143 meters, this mighty giant beckons adventurers from around the world to conquer its summit, offering a thrilling challenge and a gateway to breathtaking vistas. But their journey log is only half written as they reach Camp 1 for lunch. So, right now it is 12.47. And I'm ahead of the team, the Rizal and Oswald, cameraman. Um, a bit far, about five or ten minutes after them. And uh, yeah, and this is so I can hear him behind me. And here we are, our first stop for lunch for today. This is the shelter, it's an A, -A shaped building. Perfect for windbreaker. This is the inside of the shelter. I think it's very cozy and it, it is uh, having insulation. This is an insulation for cold weather, temperature, and uh, yeah, I think wind won't bear to come here because. It is well protected like a fortress. And we're still uh, waiting for the other guys, the result, and also a camera in there. It's our lunch for today. It is Bon Me! Yeah! Let's put it all the ingredients inside. Here. I don't know whether this beef has been cooked or not. We are looking for chili sauce. Do you have Cannot leave chili it. sauce or something? Join us to see the world. Mount Fanchipan weaves a rich tapestry of legends and cultural heritage, carrying the echoes of ancient tales and the traditions of ethnic minority communities. So while waiting for Bima Riza and Oswald the cameraman reach the summit of Fanchipan, Let's take a thousand meter step down to the mountain foot, where a unique tribe is holding a ceremony. And here it is, the Cat Cat village, where some of the Hmong people gathered for a funeral. This is uh, from the funeral in the sun and now the sun gives like, the rice for the mother to eat and uh, he gives like a uh, rice in uh, rice fry for the mother yes this is uh, from the funeral for my tradition try like a uh, yeah my in the black monks people the Hmong people, who call these lands home, share a deep spiritual connection with the mountain. And with that, a unique culture is held as their base of life, or afterlife. It is believed that Fansipan is a bridge between heaven and earth, a sacred realm where nature and folklore intertwine. Daughter-in-law will be stay like a one for whole night, 
for the uh, like uh, mother or father for the funeral. What, what if they go to sleep at night? Uh, they don't go to sleep for like uh, one night. They don't sleeping. There is like how night for like a uh, goose that want to have goose daughter in laws and they need to stay for how night for their funeral in uh, like from the while we finish the funeral and they will go to sleep. The funeral ceremony allows the community to come together in unity, providing emotional support and collective mourning. It's a time for reflection and acceptance, fostering healing and resilience as the community moves forward while cherishing the memories of their loved ones. Known for their rich tradition and strong sense of community, the Black Monk clothing serve as a powerful expression of identity and a testament to their enduring heritage. Their connection with nature makes a unique attire for Black Monk to wear and is seen as walking beauties of nature. We all wear like a tradition clothes. We don't have any different clothes. So we, the local in here, we all wear have different clothes for like a New Year, wedding, a funeral. Everything is like a, we wear like a tradition clothes in here. Every tribe has their own. Yes. Carefully selected with dyeing natural fibers, followed by hours of meticulous embroidery, the techniques used are passed down from their ancestors, and every stitch carries a story and reflects the soul of the people. Bima Riza, Oswald the cameraman, and their guide continue their track in the dark. They reach camp 2 by 5.40 p.m. where they plan to have dinner and some rest before continuing the climb to summit at 3 a.m. Sorry, uh, 5.40 and finally we have arrived into our second camp which is our camp for tonight and that's Rizal. <laughs> This is our dinner for tonight and a lot of menus that prepared by our guide here in Camp 2. Yeah, pasta, fried egg, fish, fish with uh, tomato sauce, stirred cabbage, a lot of chicken and my favorite tofu thing with tomato uh, sauce. So, let's eat. And their task is almost done for tonight. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Oh. Join us to see the world. Their intrepid journey takes them higher as they face the rugged terrain and embrace the challenges that accompany the ascent to Mount Fansipan's majestic summit. The trek demands perseverance, endurance and an indomitable spirit. Step by step, they make their way through the ever-changing landscapes rewarded with panoramic vistas of rolling hills the valleys and ocean of clouds. Trekking to the summit in early morning, everything is pitch black and only their strong will can guide them to the glimpse of a light afar. No, this is the real summit. This is... It's just a monument. It. This is the real summit. We have 143. Our first is on the top of Indochina. 
Peninsula Summit on the Fossil Island. At the summit, b and Resort are rewarded with a stunning view of the sunrise and they feel a great sense of accomplishment. You preparing a certificate for, for us? Yeah. Oh. You. Uh, you got a certificate. Uh, it says the Huangwen National Park Certification to Mr. Bima. Nationality Indonesia successfully it's conquered fancy one. Yeah, oh. <laughs> the top. I got the medal. Oh, thank you. We, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the medal at the top. Actually, there are two ways to reach the summit. One is by a long hard hike like they did and the other is by cable car. This is one of the longest cable cars in the world by the way. Our adventurers here initially planned to hike all the way up to the summit and climb down with the cable car. Unfortunately, the luck have run out as the cable car is not operating. Therefore, they have to prepare their legs for the hard journey twice. After miles of uh, hiking upwards in jungles and rocks and then a uh, thousand of steps to climb up and then finally we, here. we are here, made it to the peak, the roof of Indochina. Yeah. 3,143 meters. This is the proof. We got the medals. <laughs> got the medals, and the biggest prize is Sakura. the view. Yeah, big reward Ooh. for us. Finally, the highest peak of Indochina. We made it, baby. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Ah, see, see, point. Yeah. Oh. We need cable car, please. <laughs> In the mystical realm of Vietnam's majestic landscapes stands a towering masterpiece of nature, a beacon of awe and inspiration. This mighty sentinel embraces the heavens and invites intrepid souls to embark on a journey of breathtaking beauty and personal triumph. Each step taken on this extraordinary pilgrimage holds the promise of discovery as they traverse through the lush green forest, navigate granite cliffs, and traverse mesmerizing rice terraces, all the while being rewarded with vistas that redefine the very essence of awe-inspiring. For them, Mount Fansipan is not just a destination, but a transformative journey, an indelible memory etched into their very being forever reminding them that with courage, perseverance, and a touch of wanderlust, one can conquer mountains and embrace the boundless beauty of the world and its people.